Welcome to Quarantine with Clark, the show that asks West Dodge Station staff questions kids want to know, and some they probably don't. My guest today is our wonderful Hale teacher, Mrs. Ganam. Mrs. Ganam, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm good, Mr. Clark. Thanks. Awesome. Uh, so I just want to ask you a few questions just so that the kids of West Dodge Station can get to know you just a little bit better, all right? Absolutely. Okay. So first of all, where are you, where were you born and raised? Right here in Omaha. I moved away for quite a while and then came back here about 15 years ago. Uh, but I'm and, an Omaha girl. And But you actually have lived in some pretty interesting places, haven't you? I have. I lived in Denver for a long time and also in Saudi Arabia for eight years. That's what I thought. And, and did, you, did you teach in Saudi Arabia? I did. Okay, I, I taught at a British school in Jeddah. Yeah, it was amazing. That's all. So an American teaching in a British school in Saudi Arabia. That is yeah, the different. only American. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is a true definition of a global community right there, if you ask me. Absolutely. And kids from all over the world. Awesome. So do you have any brothers and sisters? I do. I have an older sister. And then I have three older stepsisters and an older stepbrother. So I'm the baby. Nice. So big, big, big family then. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have any kids? I have three wonderful children. They're big now, though. I have Sarah, who's 25, on Saturday. My son, Yo-Yo, that's his nickname. His real name's Yusuf. He's just turned 21. And then my baby is Hannah, and she's 17 and a senior at Elkhorn South. All right, so she's probably a little sad during this time because of everything she's losing out on. With her. Yeah, it's been tough, but the yeah. district's done a really good job to make the, feel, the kids feel like something's happening for this, them. That's so. true. Crossing our fingers. Yeah. And, and I have to admit, I, I, until this very moment, I did not know Yo-Yo's real name. Because every time I've talked to you, you you've obviously referred to him as Yo-Yo. Yep, it's Yusuf, which is Arabic for Joseph. That, that's awesome. Um, what about pets? I know you have some pets oh in here. What pets do you have? Just a few, Mr. Clark. I have three very large German Shepherds and a cute little orange cat. Nice. So we've got the, the orange cat. Matter of fact, I think she's she's actually laying on the on the bed on the back side of the camera right now. Ooh, cute. <laughs> um, what My about dogs hobbies? and cat don't get along well. What's that? My dogs and cat don't get along very well. Oh yeah, our, ours um, our also the dog is he's our, he's afraid of the cats at times because they get a little mean with him. But there's other times where they come up and and rub on him and he he loves it so. Not so much here. It's kind of a death run. <laughs> All right. So what about hobbies? What are some hobbies that you have? Oh, gosh. I like to read, and I do some scrapbooking and anything that's art. Nice. I, I, there's a lot of people. It's amazing how many people have said that they like to read, uh, and I'm sure a lot of people are getting their reading in. Uh, a lot. Now. A lot of reading. So how about hidden talents? What's something that people maybe don't know about you that, uh, that you have a talent for? You know, I'm going to fall back on the art thing. I'm kind of arty. Nice. So like when I'm not doing something else, I'm doing something kind of arty. Cool. So like craft to stay busy. Art? Crafts, beading, scrapbooking. I found out, um, during the quarantine about painting with diamonds, which is this cute little kit that it's just kind of fun. Oh. It's keeping busy, keeping hands busy and creativity flowing. Awesome, that's cool. All right, so other than getting married and having children, what would you say has been the most exciting moment of your life so far? Oh, for sure, climbing the pyramids in Giza, Egypt, oh. which is illegal. <laughs> but the little policeman on the camel, if you give him a few dollars, up we went. That was amazing. That's Egypt's awesome. my favorite place on the planet. That is so cool. So I, I have a feeling that I, I know what your one of your answers for a later question is probably going to be then. Uh, so growing up, what was some of the jobs that you did? What would have been like maybe a strange or an odd job that you had? So I worked in a cafeteria for a nursing school here in town. And um, like in the morning, I'd get there and I had to cut all the salads and stuff for the salad bar. 
it was weird. I don't even, I don't even know how that happened, but I did it for like three summers during high school. I don't even remember how I got hooked up in it. That's, so, that's yeah, it was kind of weird. That's, that's fine. I mean, it's still a, a decent job for a, for a high school kid. Yeah. Cutting salad and playing cashier on the dorm cafeteria line. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> All right. So other than education, what job would you absolutely love to do? Absolutely be a vet. Nice. Have an animal thing. So we, there's, we've got all kinds of connections because Mrs. Edick wants to open a, 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 a kind of a, a little friendly farm. Um, I, I spoke with, uh, I can't remember who else it was, that um, we all decided that we want to open a farm slash coffee shop where you can interact with with the animals i know like a lot of overseas places have got these cafes where you can go in and have coffee and then there's uh, dogs or cats or geez i think one of them even have goats and, and everything um you can be our, our in-house vet how about that sign me up deal <laughs> it will have to be after 335 though once all the kids leave school well this is true this is true unless or we the week. Yeah, unless we just, uh, after we're all retired from, from teaching, so. We're retired, yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Edick's got a few years uh, that we would, I would think, teach, yeah. we'd have to catch up. Um, so changing gears to some of the goofier questions. If you could have one of the following superpowers, what superpower would you have? The ability to fly or invisibility? Ooh, both are good ones. I'm going to go with flying because I like to travel. That, that's kind of the same thing that, that a lot of people the, the people that have said invisibility are kind of those people that would like to be the fly on the wall um but yeah i think i'm able to fly that way like you said the travel would be to be able to just yeah. see things from up that high yeah especially right now oh my god it'd be great to just go somewhere for a minute oh geez yeah uh so do you sing loudest in the shower in the car or both equally as loud uh definitely car Definitely car. Windows up or windows down? Are you sharing with everybody or are you just keeping it into yourself? Windows are definitely up. <laughs> so I can sing. Sure. I can not... sing. But uh, yeah, the windows are up. Okay. So when you do sing, what would be your go-to karaoke song? Anything from the musical Wicked, probably. Oh, nice. Well, That's Phantom nice. of the Opera is up there, too. That would be cool. Um, I am going to keep track of all of these choices because someday when we are actually back together, we're going to get the whole staff together and we're going to go sing karaoke and I'm just going to stand there with a checklist and say, next, get on, and just call your name and you Amazing. get an <laughs> All right. Definitely in for that. <laughs> all right. Um, now, we are going to get into the lightning round. I'm going to ask you a series of questions quickly. I want you to answer as quickly as possible, but they're all about your favorite things, so it should be easy. All right? Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. What is your favorite food and drink? Coffee and popcorn. Oh, nice. Together, though? No, definitely okay. not. That would be a Diet Pepsi with popcorn. There you go. What is your favorite word? Slacker. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, I should. I thought I could have known that one. <laughs> what is your favorite sound? Ocean waves. Nice. What is your favorite smell? Coffee. What is your favorite type of music? Anything but country. Yeah, I'm kind of on that same page. Um, mm. And then this one, I think I know the answer. What is your favorite place to visit? Well, so yeah, definitely Egypt, but any beach by the oh. ocean. Nice. Um, and then finally, who is your favorite fifth grade teacher named Clark? Let me think about this one. It would have to be Mr. Clark. Okay, fantastic. Why, you scared me for a minute. I was thinking, why is she having to think? I'm Absolutely, not. Mr. Clark. All right, it's fantastic. Uh, just a couple more questions before we get done. Um, what have you been doing to kind of beat the boredom of the social distancing and, and just being away from everybody? Um, connecting with kids on my Google Classroom has been good. Um, I mentioned my three giant dogs. They've yeah. been getting a lot of scratches and walks, lots of treats. It's been nice having all three of my kids home. Um, that doesn't happen much when two are away in college. So family time has been good. Lots nice. of art, crafts. 
reading books. Yeah, just the, the finding things just to stay sane, I think. And a lot of cleaning of drawers. Nice. Uh, and then finally, what would you like to say to the kids of West Dodge Station? Oh my gosh. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait till we're back together in the fall. Um, stay safe, wash your hands, and listen to your parents because they're probably pretty tired right now. <laughs> and have a great summer. Awesome. All right, I just want to give a huge thank you to Mrs. Ganam for joining me today. Join us again next time for Quarantine with Clark. See you soon. Thanks, Mr. Clark.